we will capture the boat's galaxy with my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope and also with my 12-inch Dobsonian telescope, both over the same equatorial platform. This platform is needed to track the sky. We will also use my ZWO294 camera connected to a laptop using SharpCap software. And what we are going to do is called EAA, Electronically Assisted Astronomy, and also a quick astrophotography at the end. Just a tweak to enhance the image. Let's see if the results are so different between the 18-inch Dobsonian and the 12-inch Dobsonian telescope. Messier 81 is the largest galaxy in the group of 34 galaxies in the constellation Ursa Major. This group of galaxies and the local group containing the Milky Way are close together in the Virgo supercluster. Messier 81, also called Bode's Galaxy, is a spiral galaxy. It's large and very bright and also easy to find visually with a telescope or even binoculars. With a low power eyepiece or a large sensor camera, we may watch also M82 or Cigar Galaxy, which is near the Bode's Galaxy. Now we will capture the Bode's Galaxy with the help of an application like Sky Safari or Stellarium. Just find the Big Dipper and the Bode's Galaxy will be more or less where the yellow circle is. We will start with the 18-inch Dobsonian telescope doing 8 second exposures. This is a live stack with SharpCap software. If you feel you're getting value from this video, give a thumbs up to spread it and help more people all over the world. And playing with the SharpCap histogram, we can finally have a nice image appearing on the screen. This is simple to do and you can learn it from my videos or also from my live streams. EAA is an incredible technique for a Dobsonian because in less than one minute you have this image right on the screen. Amazing to watch the sky even with light pollution. Now the same for the 12 inch Dobsonian. And to watch better the evolution, we will watch them side by side. We start the same way with the same circumstances. While they are live stacking of course. During that live stacking, the image will be better and better. Nonetheless, we will only need a few minutes. That's the beauty of the EAA. Just four minutes later, we got this. We could stay for longer, but for this experiment, I choose four minutes. The bluish background on the 12 inch image was my fault. This is because while we are live stacking, we can manage the colors and by mistake I cranked up too much the blue. Nonetheless, post-processing any image later, doing astrophotography, we can fix everything. And giving just a little touch to the image, we got this. I spent only a few seconds in Topaz software and Photoshop Express. I prefer the details on the 12 inch image. Tell me if you see such a difference. There are objects where the differences are more noticeable. You may want to click on this video on the screen to watch another comparison between the 8 inch and the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. I meet you there.